Well, first off, I just wanted to say thank you guys for all of you who clicked the link for uh, my Crypto Tap browser affiliate link, which allows me to earn a little bit of money for, you know, the content that I produce since YouTube is not monetizing my channel as of yet. And at the same time, it allows you guys to make a little bit of Bitcoin when you browse the web. It's just like Brave. So uh, for those out of you, so those those of you out there who um, downloaded the app using my link, I thank you. Uh, you know, you guys are sometimes my motivation, man. You know, it's kind of hard out here. You know, people losing their jobs, COVID. You know, all the pandemic, all of this crap that's going on. But um, you know, I enjoy doing what I do, and if you guys enjoy the channel, I'm just gonna keep on making videos so um without any further ado and if you're new to the channel please like comment and subscribe first before i say that and um please 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 i want to express it one more time thank you for the gratitude for clicking the link but uh for those of you guys who haven't done it yet get over to the crypto tap browser app click my link and then you can start earning bitcoin today so, I mean, like, it's a win-win for both of us. It's a win for the Red Pill community, and it's a win for you. You get some Bitcoin. Or you can click the Amazon link and shop on Amazon if you're going to buy something, and then just use my link and buy whatever you were going to buy anyway. And, you know, you can support the channel that way. But, all right, without further ado, let's get to the video. Makes me fuck sick to my motherfucking stomach, man. Especially when black women do that shit to the men, homie. Knowing that black men are at the bottom financially, economically, that we don't be having shit, no, that we don't be having male leadership, that we don't be having no type of family inheritances pa passed down to be able to, um, to be able to, like, build off of or, or have any type of foundation, like, Black men are literally thrown to the fucking wolves, bro. Like, almost immediately at birth, bro. <laughs> no dad in the house. And then even if you got a mom, your mom is working most of the fucking time any fucking way. And for for for, for uh, black men in society, we have always had the fucking short end of the stick. We have always been the last, man. Last fired, last, last hired, first, first fired, you know. And then to be hated on, it's one thing to be hated on by the white man and other nations and shit. Okay, fine. But to be hated on by our own fucking women, bro. To be hated on by our own women, man. Like, that shit disgusts me, bro. That shit disgusts me. Like, these fucking bitches, uh, what's her name? Goldie, whatever the fuck. I can't think of her. Goldie Johnson, or whatever the fuck her name is. Trying to hate on fucking Kevin Samuels. We need more Kevin Samuels. We need more Umar Johnsons. We need more motherfucking, uh, you know what I'm saying? More brothers in the fucking conscious community who are successful and who black men can fucking look up to and look to for guidance and structure and, and, and wisdom and shit. That shit fucking disgusts me, man. Like, the, like it's a scripture, man. It really says in like Micah 7 and 10, it says, she that is my enemy you know what I mean? Talking about your woman, man. Talking about the black woman, man. Because it's talking about Israelites. Talking about the Israelite woman. She that is my enemy shall see it. And shame shall cover her which said unto thee, where is your power? Where is your God? Where is your money? Because now they're replacing God for money. Y'all think money is God. That's why money kind of disgusts me anyway. And it's like, and men are so fucking frugal and fucking resourceful and fucking like don't want to spend it or anything like that. Even on my own channel, like men don't want to support other men like when they see them trying to produce content and shit like that until like you got like you know like damn near m then like now all of a sudden everybody want to support you but now they want to support you so they can like get a shout out or get some clout or get a feature or you know what i'm saying like it's 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 that fucking it's that kind of bullshit man it's not really genuine it's more like okay I need something from you, so that's why I'm asking. That's why I'm hitting you up now. It's not never really like, no. Let me help this brother out. Let me go check out his affiliate link. Let me go and uh, support the channel. Let me go and donate, whatever, you know, especially like the smaller channels. Like sometimes I watch a lot of little smaller channels just to kind of see what everybody's talking about on YouTube and shit. But this shit right here, man, it's like, 
it's it's it makes me feel like like disgust man because everything is like everything is about control man everything's about can trying to control a black man everything every fucking thing from the media to the narratives to the fucking you want to put us in dresses you want to put us in skirts you want us to be motherfucking good slaves uh your woman she got to control you she got to control uh what you watch on tv she got to control how many hours you on your game if you if you game or whatever she, or if you watch the game like sports center or whatever the fuck she got to control uh how long you hang out with your friends she got to control what the fuck you fucking eat she got to control uh where you go what you wear and shit like everything is about fucking control bro about trying to control a man and power it's about power and control like didn't the scripture say I, I i permit a woman not to have power or authority over a man but that's what you see women trying to do the most man and this is why i broke up with my last woman because i refuse man i fucking refuse for a bitch to fucking tell me some shit and control me bro i fucking refuse i might be single for the rest of my life because of that but hey I refuse, bro, because it's gonna make me feel not like a man, homie. It's gonna make it's gonna make me feel like a little bitch. It's gonna make me feel like, like, what does the Bible say? Uh, astonishment of heart, like heaviness in the chest and shit. And that shit is stress. That shit is stress, man. When I left my ex, man, I literally had a lot less stress. Like I still was stressed out over things, but I was less stressed out because I didn't have to deal with no fucking bitch talking shit uh trying to control me trying to fucking you know talking shit about my family about my mom and shit like that and this is why i broke up with my, with my last girlfriend she was a wonderful woman but she was trying to fucking control me bro and it's like you're not gonna fucking control me especially by trying to gaslight me and tell me something is a certain type of way and i know it's fucking not you know the minute that i see that or sense that shit Bro, I turn into a fucking beast and I'm like, get the fuck out of here with that. Like, miss me with that bullshit. Like, that's really how I, that's really how I am. That's really the, the, the person that I am. And, and it'll scare people off because I'll get in your face about it. I'll get really like, like, like adamant, like, like really angry and adamant and aggressive about the shit. Like, this is my fucking square I stand on. I don't give a fuck what you got to say. You can suck my dick. Fuck you, have a nice day. Like, that's really how I get, bro. So, like, so that shit will, like, women will be attracted to me because of the bad boy shit. But at the same time, once they see that red pill shit, that's the shit that right. they run from. Ah, I can't control this nigga like I thought. No, you fucking can't, man. Because I see so many dudes getting control, man, and, and, and being, like, motherfucking... Bro, like, dude, we got kings basically fucking looking like goddamn pawns on a chessboard, man. Right? Dudes are fucking opening their door for their girl and shit. Like, that shit is fucking pathetic to me, bro. Unless she's, like, injured or something and her arm is fucked up or something like that, she can open her own motherfucking car door. I know, I'm not saying that I don't fucking, that I won't uh, open a door for a woman. I'm not saying that. But I'm saying... You're doing this shit every day. Like, this bitch don't have a fucking brain and arms and limbs that work and shit. <laughs> Isn't she a helpmate? She can't help herself open the motherfucking door? I open doors for men and women sometimes. And, like, when I, like, like, like the grocery store or, like, when I'm walking in and out, you know. And most of the time, people say thank you. But when people don't say thank you, it's usually women. It's usually women that don't say thank you. Sometimes. But most of the time, men and women, both of them will say thank you. But... It's like everything is about putting a man, like suppressing him, like like keeping him from becoming a beast, keeping him from becoming a fucking animal. You know what I mean? Like we don't want him to be too fucking hard. We don't want him to be too masculine. We don't want him to really know the true power that he has. Like men are not taught that we fucking contribute like maybe 95 percent of everything to society bro when you're talking about agriculture construction cars infrastructure water motherfucking uh, uh uh entertainment sports 
music, uh, 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 inventions, robotic technologies, fucking AI, motherfucking Tesla, motherfucking electric this, electric that, like men pretty much made like all of that shit and then for y'all not to fucking give us our fucking credit that we deserve <laughs> bruh that shit is like it should be that shit is blasphemous <laughs> it's fucking blasphemous for you to act like men don't do all this incredible shit that they fucking do man so like on my platform now i really think like i really want to start like just giving credit to the men man giving credit to the men that they really fucking deserve man because we don't hear this shit enough this is why i love kevin samuels because he gives us the fucking credit that we deserve men don't hear this shit growing up as a child i didn't hear this shit i heard you wasn't shit your dad wasn't shit uh you know men ain't shit uh it wasn't no hardly no men around to say anything about you know what men are and do and whatever so that was already irrelevant anyway you know there's only like one or two men that i can recall that were kind of in my life as a youth growing up my uncle and then like maybe like another uncle like and i see my dad like a few times that i can fucking remember so men didn't have no fucking voice in the house raising these boys it was all female shit all everything was on the bitch side everything was on the bitch this bitch that a bitch gotta do this you gotta do this for a bitch <laughs> uh please a bitch uh, open the door for a bitch clean after a bitch uh, take care of a bitch uh, Everything's about maintaining a bitch So you wonder why men grow up and then they have no aspirations for themselves All they think about is what can I do to please this bitch? <laughs> Fucking blue pill cuck ass motherfuckers man, and I and I see it and it doesn't really make me mad But what it makes me do is it just makes me kind of just be like I Gotta live for me man. I gotta live for me I got to fucking enjoy every day, bro. Enjoy every day and live for me. I'm not living for no bitches, man. I'm not living for no hoes. I'm not fucking trying to please no or peas or, or fucking impress no bitches or nothing like that. Like, if y'all impressed with me, it's because I'm just, this is just who I am. I'm not finna be like trying to put extras on the person that I am or, or anything like that. Like, and like, this is like a space for for men to vent this is a space for men to vent youtube is trying to like take that away from from men in the red pill community which is why i believe one of the reasons why they won't monetize my channel is because you know things that i say or content that i'm that i might post sometimes it'll be kind of controversial or maybe sometimes it'll be something i'll share that i like that i seen somebody else say or post that i feel okay this is relevant this is this is juicy this is a nice this is something that my subscribers might appreciate so i'll i'll repost it you know what i mean but um i'm about to stop reposting and i'm gonna start stick to like more like um like reactions commentary and like maybe occasional skit here and there maybe an occasional fucking parody here and there but i think i really want for the most part just want to stick to like the commentary and like the facts and the news and the shit that's relevant the shit that's like going on right now because i think that's the shit that like really um is gonna get men the most value out of the channel and not just that but um knowledge man wisdom that i have and that that i've learned and shit too in my in my 30 plus years of living like that i can hand down to the men and say look man y'all are great y'all are fucking awesome Look at the richest women in the fucking planet, Earth. All of them. Not most. Not some. All of them. <laughs> the richest ones. The 10 the, from one, one like, uh, the top 10. All got their money handed to them from men who built something. None of these hoes went and did that shit and got it out the mud and grinded and did anything for it. Y'all are fucking incredible, man. Men, we're, we're the shit. We're the shit. And we're, what women are going to find is that the quality of men, and then not just the quality, but the quantity of men is like, do, 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 do. you're seeing a huge decline because these single mother households. These single mothers are raising little, 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 uh, little, uh, 
what's the what's the old boy's name? Bruce Jenner's and shit. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers want to come have sex changes and shit. You know what I'm saying? So you wonder where all the good men went. You ran them out the house. So then they were unable to raise the next generation of quote unquote good men. So maybe you need to fucking stop. I don't know. Kicking the men out the house and trying to file for child support, alimony, and motherfucking destroying the family, like you dumbass bitch. Like this is this is some shit that's like really really prevalent in society, and it used to be where this was rare to see a single mother. Like it was rare to see that shit. Now it's like becoming the norm, especially in the so-called black community, bro. That's why I'm like, I feel like we don't have no community. Like we don't have no fucking community. We don't have no 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 structure. We don't have none of that. Like Eve destroyed most of that shit, bro. Even when you go back to the uh, the Detroit 300, you go and you look at like the Detroit 300, man. Like those were black men who came together and said, "Enough is enough. We want to clean up Detroit. We want to clean up the murder capital of the United States, and check these little niggas, and make them respect these OGs around here in these motherfucking streets. And we got to, we'll bust their head." You know what I'm saying? We gonna police ourselves so the police don't have to come in and shoot us and kill us and then y'all gonna be talking about Black Lives Matter and all this crazy shit. You know, bitches just wanna fucking do all this shit, man, with no accountability, bro. You want to fucking do whatever you wanna fucking do and then never be held accountable for it. It's like you gotta fucking, you're gonna be, you're gonna be held accountable by, by somebody. Either it's gonna be the white man, it's gonna be the police, or it's gonna be your own people. You didn't want your own people. You didn't want the Detroit 300. You didn't want these hard niggas like, huh? Y'all gonna sit the fuck down and shut up and like Benny Siegel, like you gonna get down or lay down. Like you didn't want that. Like, oh my God, you're gonna hurt my baby. Oh! All scary and shit, right? So you 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 um you cancel them. You fucking call the police on them. You motherfucking. You got rid of them. You destroyed them. You destroyed something that was beautiful, man. Like, you don't see that. That is so fucking rare to see black men come together on a positive note to stop violence and gangs and crime. And then it was the black woman that fucking destroyed the shit because, oh, that's my baby. Bitch, you need the motherfucker to be coming to these men and be like, uh, how can I discipline my child? Can one of y'all help me? I'm a mom. I don't know what the fuck to do. He's grown. He's big as shit. He's taller than me. That's what the fuck these black women should have been doing in the fucking uh, during around that time. I think I believe it was like 1980s, 1990s, if I'm not mistaken, with where the Detroit 300 was uh, walking around the neighborhood, policing that shit, strong arming it. Like we we taking our shit back. We taking our neighborhood back. So it's like you don't want the black man to do it. You don't want the white man to do it. You don't want your uh, uh, other black women to do it. And say nothing and check you. It's like, who can fucking check you then? Who? Who can correct you? Who can give you any structure? You don't want to accept it from nobody. From no motherfucking body. And then when Kevin Samuel says this shit that I'm saying exact same shit, which is the fucking truth, you get mad. You feel some type of way. Boo hoo hoo. Cry me a fucking river. I give zero fucks. Zero. I give zero fucks. I really do, man. Because now it's like, man. I, I, I just want to live for me. I just want to live for me. I'm going to start being selfish, man. I'm going to be start being selfish, but I'm start going to start being uh, selfless with the knowledge, with the content, with the information, with the praise, with the praise and, and the admiration and the motivation and the uh, and the uh, 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 inspirational speech for men, man. That's what the fuck we need. That's what the fuck they need. Because if they didn't need that, they wouldn't be following guys like Kevin Samuels. If they didn't need that. If they didn't need that, they wouldn't be following some of these other channels. Coach Greg Adams and some other channels out there on YouTube. If they didn't need that inspiration, that guidance, that wisdom, that motivation, that positivity, that, 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 um, you know, that, that, that knowledge and, 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 and that, that talk and, and, uh, that old wisdom that, they wasn't taught as a youth because each generation you got to reteach the new generation otherwise they forget the information that the last generation uh knew so we have to keep reteaching and re and and and, and retelling these men look y'all are great y'all build the whole fucking world construction cars 
the whole nine even when you go into food even when you talk about cooking and, and shit like that women always talk about oh I, you always want us to cook and this and that we don't need y'all to fucking cook for us i said this in one of my other videos the richest men the richest chef on the fucking face of the earth is men uh, gordon ramsay and then it's another guy who's, who's richer than him cutting shit and frying shit fucking multi-millionaire okay fucking multi-millionaire rich so you don't want to cook i mean hey go work for fucking mcdonald's and flip burger i don't know what the fuck you're still cooking you're still cooking you don't want the black man to discipline you well you're still gonna get disciplined the white man still gonna come in there and shoot your ass with a gun and, and arrest some niggas and take them to jail somebody got to discipline your kids you're not you don't want to discipline these motherfuckers you want to sit him in front of the TV and maybe put him in a timeout. That's about the most your discipline is going to go. Dad's going to put his foot in their ass. Dad's going to set their ass straight. Oh, dad. The kids ain't going to talk that shit to dad. Bet you that. But you take him out the fucking house and now you wonder why you got these fucking, these hoodlums and shit. I mean, really just fucking think about it. Like, it's really not that, it's not fucking rocket science at the end of the day. It's really, it's a really fucking simple concept. Now, this isn't every woman. I'm not saying that. But it's the vast fucking majority. For a show, for show, it's the vast majority. You All you got to do is look out your fucking window. Look on the phone. Look on the goddamn social media. You'll see plenty of fuckery going on. Female and male fuckery, man. 80% single mother households. Hey, go, you go, girl. You're strong, independent. Okay, let's see how much longer this shit goes and lasts for, you know, before it comes back and bites you in your fucking ass, man. Shit retarded, bro. Shit retarded as fuck to me. Real talk. But that's it, man. I'm out. You already know what it is. Peace. Forgive me.